Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we are going to start a new topic, a new subject, uh, which is electromagnetic theory or uh, electromagnetic field theory. So as usual, as we do when we start a new topic, first, the first video will be basic introductory, the basic outline of the whole course. Uh, we will uh, just uh, see that and then uh, first we'll start with the basic topics the fundamental topics and then we'll move gradually to the intermediate and advanced levels okay so the first video introduction to electromagnetic theory so uh, first what we have to do is before we study this whole thing we have to understand the the, the, the purpose or the basic concept of electromagnetic field theory. What is electromagnetic theory? So that we'll discuss. So electromagnetic theory, it is a branch of physics which basically studies the nature of electric and magnetic fields and how they interact with each other to cause all the electromagnetic phenomena okay so before we go on with the electromagnetic field theory topic i want you to please watch the videos related to uh, electricity and magnetism where i have discussed uh, that that is not complete the lectures are not complete but the basic introductory ones i have posted so you can check out the electricity and magnetism playlist and the network theory or circuit theory playlist to you know uh, get an idea of all the basic concepts of electricity and magnetism so if you are watching this video i'm assuming that you have some basic knowledge of uh, electricity and magnetism Okay, so we'll, we'll go on, uh, we'll uh, touch those things. So first, electromagnetic theory is basically the study of the interaction of electric and magnetic fields, the various electromagnetic phenomena. So how electric charges and currents, they produce electric and magnetic fields, the force exerted by these electric and magnetic fields and how these forces, these fields, they affect other things that is the whole purpose of electromagnetic theory and how we can use it to uh, get things done in terms of uh, you know the whole electrical electronics those things so that is the whole purpose of electromagnetic theory and another important aspect is the whole electromagnetic spectrum where we categorize the electromagnetic waves in terms of their wavelength and frequency which is particularly useful in communication systems okay and also another important aspect is the uh, the electric phenomena of electromagnetic waves which is used in optoelectronics optical devices uh, the light vector so that is also a very important application of electromagnetic theory so the whole electromagnetic theory subject it is based on the four fundamental equations which are called as Maxwell's equation so basically what Maxwell equation did is it unified it kind of brought together the previously separate laws of electricity and magnetism which were uh, you know stated as coulomb's law gauss law faraday's law ampere's law everything it is combined and it is represented in vector form vector form integral or differential vector equations in that form so uh, another thing which i want to tell you is before studying electromagnetic theory you have to be very strong in terms of the core fundamental concepts of vectors you know the basic vector algebra vector calculus that so i've already posted a lot of videos related to uh, you know the basic concepts about vector operations in the basic physics uh, 
playlist you can watch all the videos so if you have some idea it's all right but if you have if you want to know more you know get your basics strong please watch all those videos first in the basic physics playlist all the basic concepts related to vectors the vector operations everything is discussed there okay so the whole uh, electromagnetic field theory study it can be divided into these it can be you know categorized we can categorize the whole study in these parts first as i said vector algebra and calculus it is very much important then electrostatics then maxwell equations the behavior of materials magnetostatics waveguides transmission lines and antennas so first vector algebra and calculus as we all know uh, we have already discussed it in basic physics playlist so just to give you an uh, introductory idea a vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction where there are various examples uh, from the you know mechanics point of view force velocity acceleration in electricity and magnetism electric field magnetic field uh, these are the particular examples so it has both magnitude as well as a direction it is represented by an arrowhead with the starting end called as the tail and the ending is called as the head with the arrowhead it is called as the head of the vector and there are a lot of other operations related to it such as the resolution of a vector in the coordinate axis the different coordinate axis uh, techniques that are used cartesian coordinates spherical coordinates cylindrical coordinates which we'll discuss and then the various vector operations dot product cross product then triple product scalar triple product vector triple product all those things they are there we have already discussed in the basic physics playlist so you please watch those videos okay and another thing is the integration and differentiation of vector fields in the three dimensional space that is very 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 important okay because most of the equations that you will come across particularly the maxwell equations they will be in the form of either integration or differentiation of different vector fields okay so you have to be very thorough okay on the operation of vectors otherwise it will be you know a bit tricky to understand these things okay so vector algebra and calculus that then is electrostatics so electrostatics as we have already discussed in the electricity and magnetism playlist it is a branch of physics that studies all the phenomena associated with stationary that is charges at rest or very slow moving electric charges the basic uh, law that governs the whole electrostatics thing it's the coulomb's law okay the force exerted by two charges whether it is attraction or repulsion depending upon the nature of the charges when they are separated by a certain distance okay whether it is in a they are placed in a particular medium or in free space so the permittivity of the medium comes into play so basic uh, rule that governs the whole electrostatic phenomena of slow moving electric charges that is coulomb's law then there are other things also uh, coulombic force electric field electric potential capacitance energy stored in the electrostatic field all those they come into play so please watch the electricity and magnetism playlist to get more uh, you know understanding about these topics then we have uh, magnetostatics so we can say that this is the magnetic equivalent or analog of electrostatics so it is the study of magnetic fields in systems where currents are steady you know not changing with time so the various laws that govern the whole uh, you know field of magnetostatics that is biot savart law faraday's law lenz law uh, ampere circuital law gauss law and magnetism all those things come into play so it involves the study of various properties such as magnetic flux magnetic flux density inductance energy stored in the magnetic field all those things come into play 
then is the behavior of materials so it involves basically the study of the various materials from the point of view of their interaction or how they respond when they are placed in an electric field and a magnetic field how the various materials they respond so basically it involves the categorization of different materials which are present out there which are used in electrical devices for various purposes on the basis of different properties one classification could be on the basis of their conductivity to electric current that is insulators conductors and semiconductors where the resistive properties of the conductance of the whole thing comes into play then in terms of their dielectric strength when it is uh, placed in electric field it is based on the ability to transmit electric field through it dielectrics and conductors and when they are placed in a magnetic field in on the basis of their ability to transmit magnetic field it can be in the form of diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials so on the basis of their response their behavior when they are placed in different environments whether it is the conductivity of charges the ability to transmit electric field or the ability to transmit magnetic field they can be categorized into different forms okay so basically the properties the various properties that are studied are resistance conductance electron mobility capacitance permittivity permeability uh, inductance susceptibility hysteresis properties diamagnetic properties ferromagnetic properties paramagnetic properties everything comes into play so we will be discussing all this uh, in electromagnetic theory also and in detail in electricity and magnetism so don't worry about that we'll be covering all that and uh, then after behavior of materials we have uh, another important aspect which is the wave guides transmission lines and antennas so these are also very important so each has its own purpose has its own uh, you know uh, precise definition so first the transmission line so basically the transmission line uh, it is used for uh, low power operations it has low power handling capacity so it is basically a specialized cable you know Uh, which is used to conduct electromagnetic waves so that they are contained within that you know that particular cable and here the conductors are you know long enough to you know to consider to take the wave nature of uh, the transmission to be taken into account so basically the wave theory is used for a uh, transmission line and it has very complex construction process and has low power handling capacity but it has its own uses in particular situations where low power operations are required it is used and it has a operation frequency up to 18 gigahertz okay signals up to 18 gigahertz electromagnetic signals it can handle then we have wave guide so this is a special form of uh, transmission line which is used for high power operations okay as opposed to transmission line it is used for high power operations and it has a very simple construction process and it consists of a hollow uh, metallic tube and uh, the wall of the tube it provides distributed inductance while the space between the tube walls it provides distributed capacitance the two properties inductance and capacitance which affects the magnetic field and electrostatic field inductance the magnetic field capacitance the electrostatic field so everything is related to that the interaction of these two so uh, the tube wall it provides distributed inductance and the space between the walls it uh, it, it provides uh, distributed capacitance so as i said it has very high power handling capacity and uh, here uh, what happens is that 
it has a very simple construction so it is a double bonus it has high power handling capacity and it has a simple construction as opposed to transmission line which has low power handling capacity and has very complicated construction process but each has its own uses for low power operations so you have to use a uh, transmission line regardless of its uh, you know uh, the delicacy or the intricacy in the construction thing and here the operating frequency is from 3 to 300 gigahertz so very high operating frequency where in transmission line it is up to only 18 gigahertz okay and then is the antenna so the whole electromagnetic uh, operations it involves transmission and reception of electromagnetic waves so basically on the transmitting side we need a particular device which converts the source information or data which is in the form of electrical signals into electromagnetic waves okay electrical signals to electromagnetic waves for transmission so that is done by the transmitting antenna then it uh, it is radiated into space where it uh, propagates and then on the receiving side we need another conductor which does the opposite thing it captures the electromagnetic radiations and converts it into electrical signals so that they can be processed by the various electrical circuitry so that is done by the receiving antenna so antenna theory is a separate it is sometimes included in the electromagnetic field theory sometimes it is uh, you know uh, taught separately okay so we will be discussing all that so this is the basic layout of our course the electromagnetic field theory so vector algebra and calculus we have already discussed a lot of concepts in the basic physics playlist so if more will be required i will be uploading to that so that i can refer you to that playlist where there is a whole uh, series of videos in a systematic way you can watch electrostatics and magnetostatics the basic which is required for electromagnetic theory we will be discussing here and in detail we will be discussing in the electricity and magnetism playlist you can check it out there the behavior of materials same electricity and magnetism the various properties of resistors inductors capacitors the various resistive inductive capacitive properties and their response to electrostatic and magnetic field that also will be covering in the electricity and magnetism thing but which will be required here we will discuss that and Maxwell equations and waveguides transmission lines antennas they will come at last in the you know after we cover the basics in the intermediate and advanced thing so we'll be covering all this so this is the basic layout of our whole you know study of electromagnetic theory so we'll be doing that we'll be posting a series of videos related to this where we'll be covering first the basics then the intermediate level things then the advanced level things gradually we will go okay so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much